how to factory reset and prepare your devices for resale or giving it away or maybe returning it to Apple. Let me show you in this video exactly how you can do that for your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, and yeah, even your Apple Watch. Okay, so let's start with the iPhone. Erasing it is pretty easy, but first I highly recommend you to always make a backup of your device. I'm gonna repeat this on and on, but it's extremely important to make backups of your iPhone. When you've done that, go to settings then we go to a general and in here we scroll all the way to the bottom to transfer or reset iphone and now on the bottom here we have two options reset and erase all content and settings so let's click on erase all content and settings and it's going to show us exactly what's going to get erased so apps and data you can exactly see how much storage that is taken up your apple id or your apple account will be removed from this device so it does doesn't mean it's going to be erased fully it's just going to be erased from this device so it's still running in the cloud obviously then find my activation lock will be removed and your wallet item so if you have any card stored in there these will be gone as well so we hit continue and we confirm that we want to erase this device this iphone it's going to ask for our passcode let's fill that in just like that and it is now going to upload everything to the cloud if it hasn't already done that but we're gonna skip this and now we need to fill in our apple account password that's being used on this device so let's quickly do that and let's click turn off in the top just like that it's going to load we just wait a little bit here this takes some time it's going to erase everything now and depending on the amount of storage it's going to take a couple of minutes normally and after a couple minutes you'll be faced with the new hello welcome screen confirming that this iphone is ready to be sold or used again completely new okay so how to factor reset the ipad so first of all again it's important to always have a backup of everything that's running on your ipad so Let's first unlock it and um, then we need to go to settings and in settings we go to general, we're already in general. Next what we need to do is we need to scroll all the way to the bottom and then click on transfer or reset iPad. In here we go to erase all content and settings and what this will do, this will completely wipe all the data on this iPad. So apps and data, Apple account that's on this iPad will be removed. So not deleted it's still in the cloud but it will be removed find my and the wallet if you have any cards stored in your wallet these will be deleted from this ipad as well so hit continue then we get this warning message are you sure you want to erase all media content and settings this cannot be undone so yes we want to do this erase ipad now we fill in the passcode of this ipad and if you want you can upload all the data to iCloud or you can skip this for now it's fine to just skip this now we have to fill in our Apple ID password in order to confirm everything and then we click on turn off in the top right and as you can see it's going to turn off and erase everything that's on this iPad this might take a couple of minutes depending on how much was stored on your iPad it's going pretty quickly on this iPad Pro here we will have have access to this fresh and fully erased iPad rebooting and there you go the famous welcome screen and now this iPad is ready to be sold or be used again as a refreshed iPad really easy and simple process okay so next up erasing a mac so i have an imac here but obviously this works on any macs what we need to do depending on your os this is running a mac os sequoia but if you have mac os monterey or newer you should be good and what you can see here is it's running sequoia and what we need to do here we need to go to the top left and then we go to a system settings just like that in system settings it's actually pretty simple we need to scroll all the way to the bottom and what you can see here is that we have the transfer or reset option just on iphone and ipad we click on that 
and then we get this option here erase all content and settings let's click on that it's going to ask for my passcode my password from this iMac so let's fill that in and we click on unlock and as you can see here these are all the things that are going to get erased from this iMac so we're going to have the apple account that will be signed out touch id for unlocking this mac will be removed as well as accessories so we we continue and now we need to fill in the apple id associated with this mac so let's fill in the password for that so just like that's going to sign out this apple id from this imac which is a necessary step and then we get prompt with this warning message this final confirmation you're about to erase all content and settings from this mac and we confirm this erase all content and settings from this mac and it's going to turn off just like that and it's it's probably going to show the Apple logo showing us that it's erasing all the content and settings on this Mac there we have it and now we just have to wait for a couple of minutes in order for this iMac to be reset and there we go we should be good to go now it's now asking to connect a bluetooth device at a magic mouse or magic keyboard this mac has now been erased and lastly of course the apple watch and there are actually two ways we can go and erase this device the first one erases this device but keeps it connected to the iphone and the second one fully disconnects the apple watch and erases it as well so let's start with the first one and that's the one that you can do on your apple watch so we go to the apple watch we click on settings and in here we scroll to general in here and then we go all the way to the bottom and there we have it reset we click on that and then we get the erase all content and settings option we click on that all media data and settings will be erased but erasing this will not remove the iCloud activation lock it's still going to be paired to this iphone so we erase everything click on erase all as you can see it's going to erase this apple watch but it still remains connected to the iphone that it's paired with and as you can see the moment you want to connect this apple watch with another device you can see this message apple watch still locked to an owner so that's the method you cannot use if you want to sell it or give away your apple watch Okay, so what's then the right way to completely erase and unpair this Apple Watch with the iPhone? So we don't need the watch to do this. We actually need to get on our iPhone and then we go to the watch app in here. Then we click on all watches when you're in my watch. So all watches. Then hit the eye icon here in the top right. And then we scroll down to on unpair apple watch and it's going to unpair the apple watch but also erase everything on there so we click on that it's going to ask for our apple id password so let's fill that in and we hit unpair it's going to load and as you can see unpairing apple watch and your iphone is currently unpairing this apple watch and it has been unpaired and then normally and then as you can see it's and as you can see the apple watch is also being erased after this process all right guys i hope this was helpful all the ways to erase all content and settings from your apple devices in order to resell them or give them away recycle them at apple all right guys if this was helpful make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon and also give me a like i would really really appreciate it see you in the next one and peace